Hi everyone, in this video is a quick reply to Matthias. Math Matthias. Uh, he's saying that he's coming to Edinburgh for five days, uh, but for one of those days he's wanting to get out of the city and see Scotland, uh, or get some kind of Scottishy photos. He's saying a Scottish landscape, you know, the mountains, the lochs. Loch. <laughs> lochs are the Scottish word for lakes. Um, but uh, he's not sure where to go, and he's saying that if he does like the one day bus tours around the Highlands, uh, they don't really offer that much time to for the photographer to get into the scene and see the places and all that kind of stuff. So he's wondering what I would recommend. So here, let's just let's go Google mapping uh, everything. So just for any of you who don't know about Scotland or the UK, this is this is for you. This is a little bit of a learning session for you. I'm going to give you a geography lesson, effect effectively. So, this is the UK. We are very close to places like the Netherlands, Belgium, and France, and Spain, and Ireland, of course. Uh, London is way down here, but uh, Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, is way up in the north. So, let's just see. But also, Edinburgh is more west than London, if you didn't know that. Uh, so, let's just have a little zoom in here. Now... It, well, first of all, if you're talking about the Highlands, what you're talking about, first of all, the, the kind of line that separates Scotland and England is this little white line that goes down here. So Scotland is everywhere above that. This area is all a bit dull. Well, the Galloway Forest Park, which is this area down here, is badass if you're wanting to get sky shots because there's like no buildings anywhere or like artificial light sources. So if you wanted to get like sky shots of stars, uh, like time lapse stuff, if it's a clear night, that's where you want to head into. Amazing place. But the rest of it is just all kind of a bit farmy, a bit dull. Uh, if you're talking about going into the Highlands, uh, my concept of the Highlands is more like the Cairngorm Mountains. Uh, which are a bit, you, you can see them here, they're just a bit grey, brownie, reddy, dull. Um, although that's where I, d if you see my last video, I was snowboarding on Cairngorm Mountain. Um, uh, great for skiing and all that kind of stuff. But the hills, from a photographic point of view, aren't hugely entertaining. What you really want to do is be going over much more to the west coast west coast over here so my advice would be let's just zoom in a little bit more so if this is edinburgh here uh edinburgh the capital city and you've got glasgow the biggest city i would say uh, this is more the area they want to go to now kim and i did the west highland way which if you see on my other channel it was a hundred mile walk which was from a little place just outside uh Glasgow, Bears Den, no, Mil Milne Gavi, Mil Gavi, somewhere like that, and then all the way up Loch Lomond, all the way up here, all the way up here, and then until you get to the other end of Loch Ness, which is Fort William. So what I would say is, okay, you're not going to be walking that, you're not going to do anything like that, but certainly once you come out of Edinburgh, so we just bring it up here, uh, going up like the M9 up here past Stirling, once you get past Stirling, that's where it kind of gets interesting. The rest of all this is kind of farmy, boat making, kind of stuff like that. But Stirling, there, you start to see some hills. You start to go, ooh, this is interesting. And there's a great, though, just going to Loch Lomond is such an awesome, so cool. Like going up Ben Lomond, I've never climbed that, but it's not, it, all the mountains in Scotland are very accessible. You know, anyone if you've got two legs and you aren't crippled, can easily uh, walk up pretty much any mountain in Scotland. They're not too difficult, especially in the summertime as well, or spring and onwards. Uh, Loch Lomond, Drimmon is the, the kind of town which you want to go to, or Roar Denon, that's your kind of end point where you can go with a car um, and you can get great views of lochs there. Um, but generally just the hills in that area are quite good. But what I, what I would actually say uh, would be good. There's a place which I've been to a couple of times where uh, Calendar, no, Aberfoyle. Aberfoyle, that's where it was. This area here, so you're right in the thick of it. There's lots of hills going on, forests, Loch Ard, 
Lake of Mint Teeth. Uh, Great stuff there. Um, so going to Aberfoyle, you've also got the Go Ape there. Go Ape is uh, like a tree top, tree top adventure thingamabob for adults. So it's like zip line through trees, hanging from trees, doing other stuff from trees. Um, very cool. Great way, great way to spend a day and scare yourself. In fact. As it stuff the photography, or the hills, or the locks, just go to Aberfoyle and go to Go Ape. G-O-A-P-E, as in like, you're an ape, and you're going ape. Um, go there, because, yeah, go there, go on that, have lots of fun, uh, but then take photos of all that area, because that's a really nice area. Uh, I would say rent a car for that. You can, there's loads of rental cars, places in Edinburgh, I think you can rent a car for something about 30 quid a day, 40 quid a day, or rent a van. Because I know you can rent a van for £39 for a day. I know that, so you can do that. Uh, but yeah, so that would just be my suggestion, is the West Coast is where it gets more Scottishy. It gets more hilly, mountainy, foresty, lochy. Uh, there's even a loch in Scotland called Loch Lochy. Uh, but don't go there. Uh, so yeah, West Coast. Sterling onwards, that's where it gets cool. Anyway, hope that helps. Cheers, bye bye.